Welcome friends to the review video of the Du Davuas uh, 2.5 gig switch. It's not just a 2.5 gig switch actually. The reason why I bought it, uh, this is the reason why I'm quickly making this review video is that you might be searching for a similar thing, is that this thing has four 2.5 gigabit ports and two 10 gigabit ports. So the way that I have it connected to my system right now is that I have it going to a a 10 gigabit fiber optic um, going to, to, to another switch and I can connect another 10 gigabit fiber optic connection here and most other devices are more than fine in having a 2.5 gigabit connection so you're not using old speeds anymore and uh, I think the price was very very reasonable um, maybe somewhere around 40 bucks so you see right now it's working, it's uh, connected to a uh, NAS box, uh, and um, yeah, it, it works, it's plug and play. It uses a 12 volt uh, barrel jack in the back. It is mountable um, to a wall very easily. Runs pretty cool, I don't, it feels barely warm. There's no fan in here, so it's completely noiseless. Um, so where do I see a use case uh, scenario with this is that you would run it to an area in your home where let's say you have one uh, desktop computer or a NAS that needs a 10 gigabit connection and uh, you can excuse me that's this guy running um, where you have a 10 gigabit connection and um, yeah you want uh, you want the high speed uh, networking ability for your desktop computer or your NAS and uh, every other device 2.5 gigabits is more than enough so I believe another company so that was a Duvaz that one's working this one I haven't even opened yet um, it seems to be the same thing but by a different company and might be at a cheaper price it's it's called a Yenli um, so it has the same exact feature set, it looks like. It might be the same manufacturer also. Um, Size-wise, it's one-to-one. -one. Yeah, it's the same unit, basically. Just a different brand. Yanli. So, um, apparently it uses uh, 12 volts, one amp. So that's uh, 12 watts to do the power powering stuff. So I think that's really cool. And what I'm liking about these switches is they these are like uh, not more than $50, uh, somewhere between 30 and 45, I believe. And um, I just thought this video might be useful for you to um, want to read. This is the instruction manual to this guy, 2.5 gigabit switch. Uh, probably a whole bunch of useless stuff here. Interface definitions. So we got two 10 gigabit ports. That's really nice. That's what I like about this having two 10 gigabit ports. So the devices that can use it, can use it. You don't need the overpowered 10 gigabit ports. Uh, for example, I have a fanless a switch that's, I don't know, it's like a 12 port. All are like fiber optic and 10 gigabit ports. That's over a thousand dollars, you know? It's probably not necessary for most of the equipment I'm running. Only for, for a NAS, for example, it's necessary. So let's see, switch power supply. There's really nothing interesting here. All right, friends, thumb up the video. Uh, check out the link, I, I linked both, both these below, you know, Amazon affiliate links and stuff. Um, ch check it out. Oh, I like the compactness of it. I like that it's simple. It's a plug and play switch. I like the technology finally progressed past one gigabit connections. I like that it uses a standard 12 volt power adapter. So even if you lose this adapter, you could always plug it into anything and possibly use like uh, even a 24 volt to a 12 volt converter and power it off a battery if you need it to. Um, it's fanless, so it's not gonna make any noise. Um, you could put it in your bedroom, very convenient. Um, and so these two brands are the same thing. If this one works, the other one should work too. I'm wishing you guys the best, and I'll see you in the next one.